So guys, why I um got my thing blocker here. And I just want to show you guys this video. Even though I do take back a lot of things I say about these guys, Fung Bros, I will not take back. Like, I still think these guys are fucking geeks and these guys do not represent me. They do not represent the hard, represent the hard work that I made. Damn. Cut that shit up, cut that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I see the comments straight away like, being an Asian male, we are still at the bottom of the barrel. Like, don't lump me in with the likes of you. You insidiously self-hating black pill idiot. Like, although we do look similar, we are not the same. That's like saying every black guy is the same. No. No. It's asinine. It's atrocious. It's completely, utterly annoying. We are... I'm not, I'm not at the bottom of the barrel with you. It's like crabs. You know, crabs putting down other crabs into the bucket when one crab tries to escape. The motherfuckers are black pill crabs. Using the Asian card. Like, what the fuck? That's good advice I can't lie here. BTY. guy looks like he's Korean. Or okay, Dubai. Dubu Kim. Look at that straight up Korean. Always the the Asian females even rejected us. I'm not exception. A I approached an Asian female. Well, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> well, I can't like there is something wrong with this guy, like. And got humiliated in front of her friends. The funny thing is that while this was that was happening, there was this tall, beautiful blonde Caucasian woman walked up to me and hugged me and whispered to me, sweet, it's her loss and I want you. And kissed my cheek and grabbed my hand and said to the Asian female, Lori, sorry ladies, but he's taken. The blo that blonde female is now my wife and we have two beautiful children together now. For me, it was also difficult to find Asian females because I'm 6'6", 193 pounds. Look at my eyes, look at my eyes. My wife is also quite tall herself. She's 5'9", and what attracts her... That's what attracts her the most. She's, she's always been attracted to Asian men, but she's never pushed by one. She went, she noticed that when I was being here. Blah, 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 blah. My wife speaks fluent Mandarin, Spanish, English, and French, also in my language, which is Kimura Kamori. And everyone clapped! What the fuck is this fake ass story? <laughs> Yo, you just call me this crazy, bro. <laughs> oh my god, brother! Brother! So I had to call him that bullshit. This happened, bro. You tall as hell. Six six for a sat for a Cambodian is crazy. So then suddenly you woke up with your hand on your word. It's just O T T to the maximum, bro. It is fake. It is. Two hundred pounds, nearly two hundred pounds for a sixty guy is just—it's way too skinny. It's just this. There, there is like something that's not mathing. The math is not mathing. <laughs> that story sounds made up because it is. It's cap. Great story. So heartwarming. <sighs> Fucking bot cat coming, bro. And then everyone fucking clapped. You fucking geek. You're a short five foot fucking little Cambodian little fucking geek. Stop fucking living in your daydream fantasies. Work on yourself. Go to the gym. Get your protein. Get your money up, man. Fuck. Crazy, crazy, motherfuckers, man. Ott. Jesus fucking Christ. Kesekida. Piece of shit.
As an East Asian guy, high school sucks. No other girl has ever approached me or shown any interest in me. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I feel so demasculized to the point where I question my gender, sexuality. That's crazy. That that is crazy. I've been there though. <laughs> And the K-pop of aren't really helping my self-esteem. On one hand, it's good to have more age representation, but on the other hand, it's like if you don't look like a member of BTS, you have no appeal. Those guys, BTS, they're not like the most masculine type of individuals. They're fucking soy boys. Just gonna say it. Like, you can be a masculine Asian male. You don't have to be a fucking soy boy. Let me do some Google. Some Google, important Googling work. Uh oh, my shit's about to die, bro. My keyboard's about to die. I had to get my USB C cable. But like motherfuckers look like Bobby Lee and then they and then they think to themselves, oh but 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 why do why why do I get no bitches? I'm Asian, that's the reason why. Like you have to understand the end of the day guys. These people, right? Don't let me in with them, cause I fu I fucking I fucking grind for this shit. All right. I got, I might not be the most handsome looking guy, but I am leagues ahead of where I was before. I was probably like a two before. Now I'm probably like a five or a six. So, like, <sighs> like these people. They will always look for a reason to justify their shortcomings. And they'll look for like a logical reason to justify their shortcomings that will appeal to their ego and not destroy the ego. But a logical like shortcoming is like, hey, I'm Asian, I'm Cambodian, I'm just five foot and I'm fucking small and nobody likes me and you know, whatever. That's a logical conclusion that doesn't hurt their ego. Or that is an illogical conclusion which is based in delusion that won't hurt their ego. The real logical conclusion I could say is that this person is lazy, is undisciplined, they reflects in their body, in their in their, in their mind, and it reflects in all facets of life. It's like um the first man says it. it. Doesn't matter what race you are. There's ugly black guys, ugly white guys, there's ugly Asian guys. There is a whole spectrum of hideous people from every single possible race. And that's not that's not even real, by the way. Like that's it's humans, humans period. There will always be people that will seek, like, black, black pillars. They will seek, like, a, like a, good reason, a good reason why. Well, the logical conclusion, truth, like I was going to come out, we'll come back to, is that they just need to fucking work harder on themselves. They just need to fucking work harder on themselves. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? Guys? What's going on? Come on, do something, do something. I really need to like fix my hair, grow out my hair more. Mom fuck, got my hair by the way. She fucked up my mullet, bro. Look at that jawline, bro. Sheesh. I work for that. Sheesh. I actually work for it though, I can't lie, because like, for I had zero jawline. Like, it, I used to be like a. So nice to see. I used to be like on um, fat guys, obese. I would just like sink into my neck. Like my fat would just sink into my neck. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a good time. Good times. I was gonna search up like handsome Asian guys. Let's see what's up. The hell, bruh. Oh, yeah, Godfrey Gang's always there. Who the hell is this guy, bro? No, hell no! You guys can see his face already. Who used to be my cam? The classic. How can you hate God for a gang? Fucking lucky bastard! Making me move my thing. Handsome as fuck. He died though. <laughs> oh my god, I just I ate my guts out. Now I'm full of shit. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. Yo! <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell, bro? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this guy is, this guy's pretty handsome. This is kind of gay. But, uh, guys, I'll justify it, okay? <laughs> when I looked at Lee Took before, like, a long time ago, when he was my K-pop idol, there was a moment in time where I really, like, looked up to this guy, and I really, really did, like, want to become this guy almost. That hairstyle is just... Oof. It's so, like, it's so nice, to be honest. It's really nice. Too much makeup, though. He had a lot of work done, I believe. I think maybe work done in the nose, like from this angle. Maybe there's work done in the nose. Um, yeah, it looks like maybe like a, his nose, look, his skin tone looks out of place. I think he's got a nose job, maybe. Um, but yeah, for the most part, he's a he's a pretty handsome old man. He's old enough to be my dad, bro. He's like 40, bro. 40. 40. What's that mean? Body. What the fuck am I doing, bro? So, yeah, he, yo, man. Don't pose like that, bro. Let me act up. <laughs> okay, I need to stop, bro. <laughs> this just became gay. Am I coming out? No. He's too old. Um, But yeah, this, I feel like it's pretty muscular underneath as well, like, um, Let's see the Lee Turk muscles. Like he's pretty muscular dude underneath. Like he's, he works out. Like um, he doesn't. He, he's like a he's like a he's like a he's like a slim fit like type dude, which I guess like is part of the aesthetic. Um, it's a bit too much fucking dick, dick bro. Chill out, fuck man. Uh. Yeah, he's been fit, unlike fucking what's his name again? Uh, Kim Hito. Kim Hito's handsome, but like he's obese, like like he's severely out of shape. You know, like, makeup carries him and shit. This guy getting carried by makeup and hairstyles, like without without makeup and hairstyles, this guy is like really. Yo, how do you look? He just looks so zesty, bro. Stop, Chagama. Chagama. I, I can't believe like, they're so old now. No, that's a woman, bro. What the hell, bro? I still remember this shit. No. Only he can pull long hair off like that, man. Only he too can. Bro, he was still pulling bitches in this Karen haircut. That, like, he chose next level. He looks better with short hair, though. But, like, something like a hairstyle like this suit every Asian guy. The problem is, like, it's high maintenance. It's kind of annoying. And I feel like, as an Asian guy, no matter what, you're going to have, have a bit of, like, a baby face. Which I think is better, because then you look, like, good for a very long time. Like, this, like, this look right here. My face right here. Ah! <sighs> I'm gonna look the same for effectively the next 10, 20 years. Like I, my mom, for example, she's looked the same for the last 20 years. The last two decades, she's looked the same. I'm probably gonna be the same as well. I keep a healthy lifestyle, keep my skin intact, et cetera, et cetera. Get a good haircut on like this fucking abomination that suits my face. I had a good mullet before going. Um, before. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just it's crazy now. What the fuck happening, bruh? Wait, I know this woman! She's from, um, Girl Generation. I, I know her. Sunny, yeah, Sunny. 
Were, were they a thing? Girls' generation. Damn, he was good with short hair, I can't lie. And bro, I have a thing for girls with short hair. I don't know. Maybe I'm gay, bro. But that doesn't make sense, though. Because I have a thing for girls with short hair, not dudes with short hair. Mm. Why is she so skinny? I mean, that's what. Oh, oh, skinny champion. My bad, bro. Hey! I was fat, I can say that, what the fuck? For both forgot his rights. I was an obvious out of spectrum. Mm. Man, so fucking dirty, man. I'm gonna crop that the video. Bro. She had a nice apartment. I don't know why I out. I'm not doing the um the house tour videos. I just remember this. The no makeup is devious, bro. Check it, Sekida. Ah, Shiba. Talk up, ma. Bro, she went from a Nuna to a fucking. Oh my god, that itch is crazy. Sorry, she went from Nuna to like a fucking Ajumma, bro. She fucking old ass. No, I can't say that. She has a nice kitchen. Cost to live in a girl's generation sunny apartment. Probably a fuck ton of money. I don't know why apartments are so cool. Yeah, I remember this, so this apartment was nice. $2.6 million! Don't tell me it's $2.6 million. <gasps> oh my god. And her fun, her taste of fun, I remember she, like, on the, on the reality TV show, like, she's right there, she's eating, like, fucking, like, noodles. In, like, fucking pr plastic containers. It's, it's horrible, man. Like, her taste for, uh, for furniture, indoor design, is horrible, bro. Man, Sonny really fell off, bro. I'm joking, I think it is. Yeah, but, um, let's watch the video. Sorry, I was reading a manual. As an Asian guy who's also short, dark-skinned, and rough-looking, it took more time to date successfully because I had to build up other factors in myself that made me look more attractive, body, money, fashion, social skills. Any other guy should do that, irregardless of if you're fucking short, dark-skinned, and rough-looking, man. Yeah, it is more work than my non-Asian counterparts, but the way I see it, there's no downside to being a better version of myself. W, my personal controversial take, controversial, contra controversial, my personal controversial take from watching black and Latino men whom Asian women typically want from where I'm from. I lack the masculine frame due to, how, due to being, due to how I was raised. I don't know why I'm tweaking. Being assertive and leading interaction, not sure if it's Asian culture, but I was conflict avoidant and never pushed back when I lived with my parents, which translated to my interaction with other people. Also acted goofy all the time. I think it's hard to build good time tension when making jokes all the time. Asian men are on the rise. Let's show off the world how great we are. As an Asian guy, I do get approached from a lot of different ethnicity of girls. That's why I get Asian, bro. W man. You get approached! Stop lying to me, bro! Stop lying in the comment section, man! Too many fucking lies in the comment section, bro! Like, who matters? You're just a good. I'm a black woman. Why are you here? I'm joking. And I'm surprised one thing 
That really isn't one of the main points that come up. Non-Asian women know that Asian culture tends to favor towards white or Asian over anyone else. Not really. Um, really means Korean don't like white people that much. There are a lot of non-Asian women I know that are attracted to Asian men, but tend to fall back because even we hear that Asian men and the societies that we live that 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 don't place much value on women that aren't white, American, Canadian, European, or Asian women. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Keyboard looks bad, bro. I think adopting a Western, like, free following look is good. With, like, trainers or sneakers. And, like, just casual wear. But also, like, most important thing is having a hairstyle that suits your face. I have to make, like, a dedicated video of this. Having a hairstyle that suits your face. And having a physique. That you can be proud of and you can show off a bit or oh, shows frame within your clothes You don't have to be buff. You don't have to be fucking massive But you sure as hell need to have some muscle on that frame You know so when you do take a shirt off or when you wear like a small shirt it really hugs against your arms Oh my god, it's fucking that that air up just went crazy Person like just be yourself and be confident man. Uh, actually, I take that no. back now. I'm thinking about Confidence comes from the external world. Confidence does not come from internal. Inner confidence is not a real thing. Inner peace is a real thing. Inner confidence. And those, those two don't necessarily have to conflict. I don't want to be so soft spoken now, but I think I'm just tired, honestly. I'm genuinely tired of being angry. You know, the two concepts of inner peace and inner confidence they don't necessarily have to conflict but they don't understand inner confidence is not is not a real thing like confidence like, i saw that i saw that black, black girl black girl uh, meme or when she was like i'm a 10 out of 10 confidence is key period and like she went up to like a random guy <laughs> and the guy was like what the fuck is that a lizard <laughs> it's playing out of my head i can't stop it playing out of my head <laughs> Take it to it. And I was just thinking to myself, like, oh, that water just fucking destroyed me, bro. I just consumed too much water at once. Holy. I feel heavy. About it, yeah, Wait, man, you guys have to see this, though. Let's go up to a girl and say, yeah, I just think you're really hot. What do you think about me? <laughs> walk up in there like you got 10 inch balls. Or I mean a 10 inch shaft. Are Asian men still consider- oh, Okay. Is that a lizard girl meme? <laughs> it's here, it's here. Okay, so let me ask you a question. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 through 10? A 10. Do you think other people agree with that? I don't care what other people think. Confidence is key, period. Hey, bro. What would you rate this girl on a scale of 1 through 10? What the fuck? I look like a fucking lizard, man. She a zero. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, for real? A zero? Hell it's funny yeah. out of my head. I don't know why. She look like a damn gremlin, man. All right, let me ask you it's a question. What would lizard, you rate yourself on a scale of 1 through man. 10? Yeah, like a Louisiana accident. You think other people agree with that? An accident? Yeah. A, a Louisiana accident. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Louisiana. Oh. It's fu it funny in my head, man. Okay, so let me ask you a question. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 through 10? A 10. Do you think other people agree with that? I don't care what other people think. Confidence is key. Period. True. Hey, bro. What would you rate this girl on a scale of 1 through 10? What the fuck? I look like a fucking lizard, dude. <laughs> what is that on a chair? <laughs> I'm, 
I'm not looking at my lip. No, man. No, bro. No, man. No. Oh my god, again, 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 hey, bro. again. What would you rate this girl on a scale of 1 through 10? I look like a fucking lizard. Why the fuck is the vine boom effect not there, bro? Okay. That would be much more funnier. Consider the lowest ranking males in the dating pool. <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought to look at myself smart at kind of like this. It reminds me of Theo Vaughn saying Monster Energy Drink. Wait, oh my god. Wait, I can find this for you guys. This is real funny. This is real funny. Oh my god, YouTube load, bro. I'm on the, I, I need to take a shower, man. I'm, I'm really dirty. I'm really, really dirty. And it's like, it's getting frustrating. The old one, monster energy. <laughs> uh, I think it's in my head, bro. Right? I'm drinking like monster energy drinks sometimes, which are piss magnet. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're delicious, but they make you want to pee. Make you want to beat your wife, too, dude. I've seen a <laughs> lot of dudes drinking monster that you know they're going home to punch. <laughs> I don't know if the monster is the cause of it. I think there's probably other other factors. Well, I'll say this. It's the beverage of choice of some of those gentlemen. I'll say that. <laughs> I'm drinking like monster three, energy drinks sometimes, it's which three, are three, piss I'm magnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're I'm delicious, but they make you want to pee. Make you want to beat your your wife too dude i've seen a <laughs> lot of dudes drinking monster that you know they're going home to punch <laughs> i don't <laughs> it was, that's like a like a bacon happy like golden retriever type energy face <laughs> oh my fucking god bro oh my god i'm going home to punch Fucking, it's too much, man. It's too much. No way someone said Dana White entered the chat. Gum down a Viet. What the hell did I do? Man, I think about that kind of stuff. Like if a plane crashed, I already know I'm planned ahead, dude. I'd eat a Vietnamese guy. Why? Um, because that's easy. It's a starter move. If you attack somebody <laughs> bigger, if you eat somebody bigger in front of other people, it's going to alarm people. But you, you got to eat a small person, so stature is important. I I think Whoa. if you gum down a Viet, people aren't going to be that upset at you. Well, the, the you know? Vietnam, these people are going to be super upset. What are you talking about? No, well, somebody's okay. dad. Yeah, they're sacrifice. They're more <laughs> understanding of things, dude. Is this a character you're playing? No. <laughs> but if you eat a black, <laughs> dude, you eat a black lady and her family's there, they're going to be pissed. So you think a Vietnamese person will let you slide? I think that they'd be much well, more forgiving over a couple of day period. I think, uh, like well, their relatives. You don't think so, honestly. Well, but what is interesting is like Vietnam is one of the few places where um, Americans can go back to Vietnam and they don't seem to hold any grudge at all. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think about that kind of stuff. Like if a plane crashed, I already know I'm planned ahead. Dude, I'd eat a Vietnamese guy. Okay, um, okay. That's not that's not people for today. And if that's not true anymore. What's changed? Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. David and Andrew here. We're going to be reacting and analyzing oh. BuzzFeed's viral video, Why Aren't Asian Men Sexy? Yeah, I mean, this video came out five years ago. It's got millions of views, like 15,000 comments. Yeah, and you know what's the interesting about this racial stereotype, Andrew? Is some people take it so trivially that they'll just joke about it at work. And some people take it so serious, they'll run like five subreddits solely dedicated to this time. Man. Jit looks like Kung Fu Panda. Jit looks like the fucking kid up. But he never grew up. Jit looks like cool boy. Jit looks like he's trying to be cool. Jit looks like he's trying to be like a fucking eighties teenager. No, I was like, I'm too much. Topic. So clearly guys, there is some confusion. He's a bit for an Asian though, that's quite impressive. But again, he's a fat fox, so the sword out. All right, that's why we're talking about it, and that's why we're going to be breaking down this video clip by clip. All right, if you guys are interested, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Let's roll it. Gentlemen, welcome. We are here today to talk about... No, not Jeff, not Jeff Yang, bro. What the hell? Okay. You guys, you guys see like this. Oh, what the hell, bro? 
What the hell? Did these people do not represent me, bro. You do not represent me, man. I'm tired. It's 3 a.m. I need, I need to get a shower going. Actor appearing on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Wait a minute. Celebrity hairstylist, hair triangleist, and red carpet host. David Dang. Dang, you a bitch. <laughs> Jeff Yang. Yang and Dang. Whoa, what the fuck is fucking Stephen Yin? You got the Yin and the Yang. <laughs> no, no, bang hard on my head. Sing out loud to sound fucking cringe. Anyways, author, journalist, podcast host of... Everyone's a podcast co-host. Oh my god, Eugene, Eugene, Lee, Yang. Oh my god, the, the Yang family's here, bro. Bro, bring his dad on set. Ain't no way. Buzzfeed development partner, video pro, pro the geeks. Let's, let's, um, oh, the geeks. The, the, the fucking geeks. Like, oh my god, guys. Like, you don't represent me. Just because you're Asian. Like, and I'm sure all the guys that are Asian, that are on self improvement, that are grinding, that are working hard in order to get better, what um putting themselves like through fucking torture in the gym in order to fucking, you know, look better, feel better, and be better, literally, I completely understand that these individuals, with their little fucking mugs, and they're complaining ass, and they're all at the table, they don't represent Asian men. These people do not. Re if these people represent people represent Asian men, then Asian men are doomed. Like, the only other strong Asian guy out there who's, like, South Asian who's, is Hamza. He's Pakistani, South Asian. Never eat shredded wheat. Or Southwest Asian. Because he's Pakistani. Like, that's, like, the only strong Asian um, think influence there. But for the most part, when it comes to East Asian men and should strong masculine influence from East Asian men, there is none. There is absolutely zero. And I, and I, and I think I know the reason why this is is because a lot of Asian guys, like I said before previously... A black pill geeks that would seek the, the, they might not know what the black pill is but they have the same exact dogma and mantras of the black pill and perhaps unknowingly so but the reality is is that they have those oh hunter eyes oh, 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 oh height uh, skin color uh, uh, blah, the physique uh, genetics genetics it's the same shit it's the same fucking shit Peel back the layer. Look into the matrix. Look into the matrix. <laughs> you can see it, like, these guys are just making the same excuses. It's just pathetic. Like, look at you, man. Like, you, you cling onto this hair. Just shave it off, bro. You're balding. Shave it off. Take, get rid of it. Like, if I was balding, zoop, zoop, zoop. my great grandfather had hair before he died. So, you know, I'm not going to be balding anytime soon, hopefully. I doesn't fucking keep scratching my head like this, which is not good. I'm not gonna stop massaging it now, actually. Keep going to my. What kind of jawline? Oh. No, I'm glad I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ha <laughs> ha. No, the front angle was crazy because it's fucking. <laughs> that, that side angle was crazy though. But like, these guys. They're, they're, oh. Pathetic! Okay, let's keep going. Out. Why the f? Aren't Asian men considered sexy? <laughs> yeah, and yes, to be honest, this is kind of a serious conversation. Uh, more serious than it sounds, because I think some people are like, oh, what do you care who thinks you're sexy? Like, who matters? You <sighs> you're just a good person. Like, just be yourself and be confident, man. But to be honest, your sexual market value, as in like how much you appeal to the opposite sex or, you know, women in this case that you're trying to attract. It's like, honestly, if women don't even respect you and desire you in a weird way, it's like a lot of men aren't even going to respect you. Like okay. I have heard so much slander about Asian men because they think a lot of Asian women don't like Asian men. I'm not saying that's true, but a, clearly a portion don't no, prefer Asian men or don't end up with Asian men. So a lot of non-Asian guys get this sense and then they... It, they use that to look down on Asian men. I'm not saying that's right. I'm just saying that's what happens. Yeah, I mean, it possibly could impact your ability to lead men of other ethnicities if they don't respect you or think you 
just a small weak dude with a small weenie or whatever <laughs> anyway uh i would say this i think that this is bro if this guy lost weight he would gain like two inches i'm just saying like you are overweight sir you are overweight on the bmi scale i don't know why you're talking okay buddy like what the fuck what is bro talking about well jay don't bang the time you know baltimore motherfuckers <laughs> Think about a fucking dumbass meme. Can you think about what about Baltimore Bogus? I think one of the other meme was like, hey, twin ain't no goddamn Fortnite. <laughs> I have brain damage, bro. I can't, I have brain damage. I've like, I haven't used TikTok in effectively like, I think 2021, 2020, no, yeah, 2021 was the last year I used it. It's been two years since I used TikTok, and I still feel the brain damage to this day. I remember I used to download TikToks, like to watch later. And like, I would get like a chance when I, like, for example, I'm on the train, I have no wife, I would watch them all on the train. I just realized myself, like, it's just ass and titties and the frequent funny meme that makes me cry my eyes out. And they're like, what the fuck am I really doing? And then the meme will always be something stupid, like, like a fucking guy falling like this in slow motion. Baby look cocoy! Baby look cocoy! And then like a fart noise, and then I'd be fucking like, crying my soul out my body in public and everyone will be looking at me like what the fuck is this guy doing just <laughs> just crying just laughing like like it's, like it's crazy but i would just look at my phone we will go go we will go <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> so dumb like it's just it's brain it's brain fuckery bro it's, it's genuine it, it's just is true in the macro and any asian guy in america would agree with you whether they're going through that or not or have all these deep anecdotes from their up childhood or not that this is a overarching issue it's sort of like any black american whether or not they actually had a downside relationship with the police themselves okay they would be like yes there are strained relationships between the african-american community and white police departments or just a police department but the actual individual i shit so bad bro Motherfucker, man. I can't pause this, can I? I took a shower, took a shit, I did everything, bro, under the sun. Took care of my skin as well, like, glowing a bit, glowing a bit. Just put some moisturizer, put some toner, put some cream, uh, facial cleanser. I'm um, spots here, in, maybe ingrown hairs. I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'll have to edit that out, actually. Yeah, wow, it's fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, let's continue watching this video. Your personal experiences may vary. Like, your mileage may vary. And that could matter a lot on the cities an Asian guy grows up in, um, the city, uh, the, the high school they're from, how tall or rich or good-looking they are, their group of friends, their specific exposure. Why do you think Asian men are considered sexy? It's the result of effectively a historical... Oh, hell no, nah, man. I'm glowing, bro. <laughs> How does this guy represent me? How dare you? How dare you? Like, if I was balding as an Asian guy, shave that off, get in shape, I would turn into Asian Johnny Sins. <laughs> History. It's not history. It's not the past. The past is history. The future is a mystery. And the present is a gift. From my top G, Master Uwe. 
This is utter asinine. Complete and utter asinine. I listen to this and I convulse and cringe. Like, this is completely and utterly backwards thinking, literally, history, and stupid. The reality is you're wearing some dork hoodie with some dork shirt. It stretches way too much and you have no fucking chest, chest muscles. You're dork glasses, you're overweight, you're balding, you're, you're hanging on to hair you shouldn't be hanging on to. And your appearance is, for better or for worse, fucking shabby. And, you know, if you talk about why men aren't sexy or my uh, woman, uh, not a woman aren't sexy, why men aren't sexy or why men are sexy, the difference usually lies in, do they have good traits or not that would be deemed sexy? Like, are they attractive? That's a, I'm pretty sure that's a pretty good baseline to go off of. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. Silence speaks volumes, man. I don't fucking say anything with it. Oh, hell no, nah, man. Well my, gra well, my granddad has more hair than him. Literally, my granddad has more hair than him. He's had no fucking transplant. I I'm not against transplants, hair transplants for men. I'm really, I'm really not. Um, I think this guy should get it. He either should get a transplant, because he looks like he does have money. He's like the high position or whatever, big name. He should get. He should get the money. If not, he does, if he doesn't get the money, uh, to get a hair transplant, he should just go bald because it's cheaper and better in the short term. Whole campaign. I mean, you know, Asian immigrants first started coming to this country. Everything from political cartoons, uh, obviously government. Are we really blaming political cartoons on when white men are Asian men are sexy or not? Policy was all. A Japs is crazy. Execute group of Tokyo air raiders. That's why cold-blooded murder, it's war at the end of the day, like, what the fuck? The Japanese were especially brutal during the war, you know? About kind of framing okay. Asians as, as almost bestial vermin, and, you know, when we're... Or just let it go, like... It's not anything to laugh at, just let it go, like, what the fuck are you doing, mate? It's absolutely and utterly atrocious. It's it's just too much at this point. Bro, just let it go, man. I think guys that are balding, they look better just straight up bald. Straight up shining bald. You look, actually look a bit younger if you do go straight up bald. If you try to cling on to hair desperately. And you try to really like fucking... Try to really grab it. And keep that hair there. Something shouldn't be there. And you try to keep it there. It, it's not going to work. It's never going to work. And it's gonna end up making you look older and, and more unattractive as time goes on. Like, come on, mate. We're kind of pushed in one direction, a sort of over sexualized, exotic. Yeah, because Asian girls are cute. And Asian girls are kind of stupid for going for white guys. Especially when white guys, like, <laughs> see you as an exotic com commodity, commodity, bro. Like, look at the love in her eyes. Okay, make Asian babies, okay? Saw the repercussions. And men, meanwhile, were pushed. He looks like Buddha, bro. I know he got money, though. He's got the same ears as me. Look at this. Look at the Buddha ears. Same ears. Same Asian. Completely different choices. Pushed into this corner of neutered eunuchs, you know, with tiny body. You are the epitome of what you describe. You couldn't even keep eye contact with this dude. What the fuck? Your eyes are like slits. Your hand is like a pudgy mess. Like, why? You don't represent me. Fuck's sake, man. These and, and barbaric tendencies. <laughs> Tiny bodies. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I agree that definitely... Oh, it's because of Hollywood. Because of movies. 
know, if a girl is attracted to you, she'll make the exception to you. This line is fucking me up. If a girl is attracted to you, she'll make the exception for you. Like, mm, all our Asian guys are kind of ugly, but you're kind of cute. I hear that so many times when I start there. I hear that so many times from girls. Oh, but I don't like black guys, but, you know, you're kind of cute. And it might be degrading in the short term, but then again, like, if you are competent enough as a male, you are attractive enough as a male, you work yourself hard enough, you will be the exception. This is universal for all of the races. I keep saying races, but they're not racist. We're human at the end of the day, that's retarded. Yeah, he's just completely as an asinine. Tiny <laughs> bodies. Yeah, you know what? I agree that definitely Hollywood and the media has always portrayed Asians, uh, especially Asian men in a negative light and Asian women in a negative light in their own way. Uh, however, I don't know if there was like a concerted like governmental effort. Commodity. Uh, actually, Commodity. I take that back now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, maybe there was because uh, they excluded us. So, yeah, yeah actually. <laughs> Broke into realization. <laughs> uh, I agree, but here's my thing. That happened many, many years ago, and we have to look at ourselves as modern men in the 21st century and be like, okay, guys, what can we do now? It's not all the media's fault. I'm not blaming media from 100 years ago anymore. I'm past it. I'm done. They did it. They did us wrong, but that's not affecting me yeah. now. Exactly, bingo. This guy's fucking kind of smart, I can't lie. I'm not a big fan of putting, like, all my worth in a social sense or a media sense. Oh, you should put all your worth in the fucking gym. You literally ate too many, one too many fucking dumplings, bro. Yeah. You want to get, like, fucking consumed one too many. I look so goofy, my ears out. At least I'm rich, so. He has the same ears as me! Motherfucker, man, stealing my shit. As an Asian American male in like dweeby writers from like 120 years ago, 130 euros ago, even 20 years ago, or 10 years ago with this like uh, my two broke girls character or whatever. Like, I just believe in self agency. This guy's being facts. See, yes, all that stuff did happen. Yeah, sure, there was Sessa Hasegawa, and then, you know, that's, that's like saying there was Wat Masaka in the NBA. Who the fuck are these people? You know, too, I mean, at the end of the day, we have to look at what we can do, but yes, I do agree with Jeff Yang. They were not nice to us as far as the silver screen goes. You know what this reminds me of? Chris Rock's joke. It's the media, Chris. It's the media. Why you gotta say that? It ain't us, it's the media. It ain't us, it's the media. I mean, it's interesting though, even like the masculinized roles, like the, you know, say martial artists and so on and so forth. Yeah. W. Bruce Lee, W. Bruce Lee in chat, W. Bruce Lee in chat, W. Bruce Lee. They're still kind of not getting any, you know? Yeah, I mean, this is a good observation. Well, Bruce Lee was handsome as fuck. You got all them white bitches, bro. What the fuck are you talking about, man? It's just like you didn't talk about it because he was busy fucking getting the white bitches. The fuck? His, his wife is white. He has Asian kids. That Jeff made, to be honest. But I will say this. Did martial artists ever really get that many girls? Because it's not really like them being a martial artist. I to be good at martial arts. Is that XQC G Fuel? Dude, 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 <laughs> um, Damn. To be perfectly good at... No, it's not be perfectly good. But to be extremely good at martial arts, you probably would seek it not to be dedicated to women but to have training a training regimen and to work regardless how your life is organized i think that's still incredibly valuable for attraction you know uh, people can conflate you know you're in shape and you do martial arts with you get no bitches because you're so focused on fucking kung fu martial arts but it's not necessarily the case you can have both i don't think a lot of like sex appeal or like uh, a big group of women was always like rewarded to like just a kung fu master. You know what I'm saying? You're saying the Shaolin monks in Sh yeah. These guys, don't, these guys don't know really anything martial arts. Wow, can't be surprised. You know, not really can't be surprised. Like what the fuck? No, never done a boxing session. Never smart. Never done anything in their entire lives. They piss themselves at confrontation. Um, Americans, so they put up the gun at first sight. Put up heat. Um, it shocks and annoys me how many men out there are like this and how many men just subscribe to this 
dog one, his rhetoric. And I think I'm the only one so far in this Asian song from his face. Like, you know, first man's talked about it because like he's seen it firsthand how fucking deprecating Asian guys can be to themselves. But I'm the only one that's Asian who's like fucking crawled out of the woodworks almost. Yeah, who's East Asian, crawled out of the woodworks, who's gonna fucking come out, rise up and fucking make something out of this. And, and turn this into a respectable brand. Because that's like that's my whole plan, that's my whole agenda. Because it's fucking embarrassing. It's completely fucking embarrassing to see guys that are like this pathetic and this like naive and unknowing. Like it's 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 honestly such fucking it's such fucking bullshit. Like ooh, Shaolin monks and what like bro, if you're doing boxing, you know you know how to fight, you're in good shape, you're good you're humble from boxing, you have calm, cool composure all the time. And you're attractive because of martial arts. So the guys that are doing MMA and boxing are usually more attractive than guys that don't. Because of the, they have a mouth guard, they have the mouth guard, they develop a fucking jawline as, as a result. And, you know, the sparring, you know, it kind of pushes fat out of your face almost. I don't know, that's what, if it's the actual science, bro, bro, bro science, that's more bro science than I ever said. But when it comes to mewing and you know, having a mouth guard, that's very important. You know, physical exercise, of course, reducing your body fat. These are all are very, very important components of um, having an attractive body, an attractive physique, an attractive persona, whatever it is, like, what you want to constitute, constitute that as. And all of these Asian guys here, they just don't fucking understand. Is that Simu Liu book at the back? Look at this shit. Simu Liu book, man. I don't, I don't really like the Asian the Asian space. I don't, I don't really, I, I never really meshed well with other Asians when I, when I did try to mesh well with other Asians. I always found out that I was a bit of more of myself, a bit more of like a, like a maverick type of Logan Paul maverick, and I never really truly fit in with these people, despite my many attempts to fit in. And I realized at some point, like, why the fuck am I trying to fit in with you fucking geeks? And I went my own path. And I think that, you know, you know, in Kang, you know, in Loki, I don't know if you guys watched the, the TV show Loki. Kang the Conqueror says, "Every step of the road, I paved the entire." Some shit like that. Every step you took, I paved the entire road. <laughs> in, his, in his fucking kind of conger uh, persona. And I thought to myself, in vivid detail, I'm going to have to do this shit by myself. I'm going to have to be myself, put myself out there, and make my own agenda. Push my own agenda. Push my own message. Push my own rhetoric. Because I'm tired of this shit. This soy boy, Asian, Asian bullshit. I'm tired of it. For all my life, I was a geek. For all my life. Only recently, I've begun to, like, fucking grab some power. And, like, fucking struggle in life a little bit. And, you know, see myself change and improve and fucking become something. Only recently. And, you know, these people didn't help me when I was there. Because these people... They, they weren't there to help me. They were there to just push their own agenda. Wear their little boy, soul boy denim jacket. And this, this denim jacket would look good if you were handsome. And like clothes amplified. They, like they were there to just, you know, push their own ideology. Push their own weak ideology. Their beta male ideology. And their fucking soy boy, literally soy boy, energy, you know, energy and rhetoric onto, onto me. And I fucking fuck with that shit, bro. It's fucking like how many young men, young Asian men especially, are just like self-deprecating, self-hating pits of darkness. Straight up, how many of them exist because of guys like these? Because of rhetoric like, oh, Charlie, my God, martial arts don't get pussy. Like, come on, man. Guys that do boxing, guys that do MMA get the most bitches. Come on, let's let's. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, you think it's like the frat boy? The ABB? The ABG? Asian baby girl, Asian baby boy? You think, do you think it's that individual? Yeah, maybe for a night. But like, if it comes to general attraction with very minimal effort, based on appearance, based on like, fucking masculine frame, it's... It's a joke. It's, it's really a joke. It really is. Like, what the fuck? I grew up thinking that 
in order to attract girls, I would have to become like this ABB. I would have to spend money on a girl and you know, fucking bring a, a whole lifestyle. Like there's multitudes of attraction, guys. There's multitudes of attraction. It's lifestyle, it's looks, it's personality, there's money. There's, there's a lot of things when it comes to attraction. And the most baseline thing that you could possibly understand from this is whatever you attract girls with, whatever you lead with, you know, whatever you, I'm going to reiterate myself there, whatever you lead with is what you attract girls with. If you lead with your personality and you're extremely funny, extremely outgoing, you will attract girls that will be your lead. Oh my God. You will therefore attract girls that will like your personality, like the fact that you're funny. You track you if you leave with money, for example. Jesus Christ, I'm not. I'm starting all this. I'm, my brain's tweaking. It's like fucking four twenty a.m. Nice. Fucking neighbor outside. It's it's sad. Man. He's just he's a schizophrenic, really. If you attract girls with money, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna attract bimbos and you know three or four that want all your money, gold diggers. You know if you leave with money, you're gonna attract girls with money. I want your money. If you lead with lifestyle, you are going to attract girls that will want you for your lifestyle. Are you, are you getting are you getting the math now? So yeah, I think that it's complete fallacy to just believe this shit. It's a complete fallacy. It's, it's, it's fucking annoying, frankly. It makes me like it makes me like cringe because I love all these guys. Zhao Lin is not the biggest players in Zhong Guo. I'm just saying Don't sumos, the fat guys, they got all the women. Oh, they're very that that is such like a spectrum. He's a geek, bro, I can't lie. Very indulgent, man. They got eat to... everything, do everything. Yeah, eat a lot, smash a lot, and and die early, man. That, that's what life is about. I think that this literally comes down to three funny, problems, though. Andrew. Um, I think that, no, by the way, that Jet Li Aaliyah kiss did get struck from the movie due to audiences not accepting it. So, number one, I do think that non-Asians are not used to Asian guys getting women that are hot. Yeah, I would agree with this. When I was um, in year 11 or the last year of high school, you know, there was a cute girl that apparently really liked me. She had a crush on me. But, like, I don't know, she would never, like, talk to me directly. And I would, like, try to initiate a conversation, but she seemed cold. So I just told myself, like, yeah, she doesn't like me. That's realistic. She doesn't like me. And then there was another time where a girl did like me. And I was like, what the fuck? No, shut up. Like, it, it, it didn't compute in my mind that there would be a girl, a person of opposite sex that would find me, would fancy me, or find me attractive. This was not in my fucking brain because I was honestly... Could I, could I say I'm not confident in myself? I think maybe because because I, I think because what the fuck is his hair color? Look at this tr Pythagoras theorem shit, bro. My mom fucked my shit up, bro. Because I think I genuinely just subscribe to the red. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't laugh. Yeah, that fucking the haircut, bro. What the hell? It's an obtuse scaling. Oh my god, it's a fucking equal triangle, bro. Scaling triangle. Obtuse tr Illuminati. Holy shit, man. Fuck, man. My hair is fucking me up. Anyways, I think I did subscribe to the, like the rhetoric that. <laughs> so funny. I subscribed to the rhetoric that you know just Asian guys are unattractive, and we don't get bitches. Someone has to change that. Someone is me. Fortunately or unfortunately. Almost any type, but particularly... I'm like Loki, at the end of season two, fucking collecting all the strands of time and pulsating, making them live with my magic, becoming the god of stories, making Yig's drill, motherfucker. I'm making Asian rich Yig's drill. Non-Asian women. So that's their cognitive dissonance. That's the uh, shame of like lowered expectations for Asian men's sexual market value, but it is what it is, okay? So that's blaming the non-Asian audiences. And I can't lie, I just, I, the, the girl that, that had a question me, she was ginger, and she was just my time, bro. Ah. She was so cute, man. She was so cute, bro. <laughs> bro, she was like, oh my, I, I really like ginger girls, man. I don't know. I'm just tweaking. 
actually, I think ancient Chinese culture might have an issue in terms of not giving like the most disciplined warriors actually a lot of women, but rather giving the philandering like bureaucrats almost like a Hollywood producer type, all the women. And you can even see it in Crazy Rich Asians with Jimmy O. Yang's character. It's a Wen versus Wu mask. And Jimmy O. Yang's a bitch. Fuck Jimmy O. Yang. He don't represent all the Jimmys. I remember um, there was a culture, like I think it was maybe the Aztec culture or the Native American culture that genuinely, like, like they genuinely believe that names give great power to the person, the person's personality. I don't know what where, where that is. Um, which nah not this which culture believes in name correlating to person recent studies have found out that names have the potential to influence our behavior physical appearance career path and life choices well Eastern cultures, nominative determinism, S South Korean culture, a common belief that a good name brings good luck and the unfit name brings bad luck. This is dumb. Let me tell you why. Let me let me, let me, let me hide it in the math. All right. Let me let, let me put some fucking logic in these for dumb fuck brains. Okay. I want to get over oh, chat GPT though because GPT knows me. Let me put some fucking logic in your brains. My name is Jimmy. I've been known as that funny guy in school all my life. And I'm still seen as that funny guy. I don't really have any problem with it. To be perfectly honest with you. To be perfectly honest, I don't really have I don't really have an issue. Then there's Jimmy O Yang. He's a funny guy. And he's been a funny guy for a very long time. Sure, a comedian. But the choices I've made. And the choices that millions of other Jimmy's, Asian Jimmy's worldwide have made can prove that your name matters very fucking little to like, what actually happened in your life. Like, maybe you'll be a funny guy, but there's a funny guy who's named fucking Anthony. So who gives a fuck? Like, I, you put a hundred Jimmy's next to each other, are all of them funny? No, one of them might be a fucking serial psychopath murderer. One of them might be a fucking robot. Whose personality is as bland as a stone. One of them might be a, like a fucking stoic. There's a funny name. You laugh at it one sec, or for like five seconds, and then you're like, and you, you're just he's just staring at this. <laughs> it might be like that. So, like, your name, your your this, your that is fucking excuses, bro. Numerology is a belief system that describes mystical significance to blah, blah 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 Chinese ancient Chinese Greek Indian Pythagorean bro It's not my fucking haircut It's not scientifically supported exactly Yeah for that empirical science because it's like bro I just broke down this fucking dumb shit Jimmy O Yang, like when versus Wu, bro. Jimmy O Yang, like what? Do I, what did I say about the, the levels of attraction? He's attracting girls with what lifestyle, and everyone wants a fucking good lifestyle. Who doesn't want a good fucking lifestyle? Who, who doesn't want to travel the world? Who doesn't want to fucking you know go on a fucking massive party yacht the size of a cargo ship? Who doesn't want to do that? Everyone wants to do that. They're crazy rich Asians, after all. They they have fun lifestyles, of course. The majority of people. Want a fun, crazy lifestyle, and like the to the silent majority, uh, majority though, because like they don't really give a fuck. They they're partying, they're having fun. They don't have enough time to fucking make YouTube videos like this artistically on YouTube. Oh, you go buy stuff, do the math, the scientific scientism. They, they don't they don't have time because they're too busy fucking partying, living life. Okay, so you can't use Jimmy O Yang as a beacon of attraction. As a barometer of attraction. Because Jimmy O. Yang is not an attractive individual. His personality makes him attractive. His lifestyle makes him attractive. His status makes him attractive. As a famous comedian in Hollywood. A famous actor. That's what makes him attractive.
purely of pure looks, he's fucking like a three out of ten. He's a four out of ten on a good day with good lighting. Like he, he looks like a fucking like an Asian Karen. What the fuck? He looks like I I used to look like him. But honestly, some might fucking be saying, "I saw your old videos. I saw old images of you. You're projecting. Yeah, I am projecting. I used to look like this motherfucker, man. I used to watch his fucking stand-up comedian shows. I thought it would be funny if I, if I could be like him. It's just fucking horrible. Because I'm not like him. I'm myself. Masculinity problem. I have never been a fan, Andrew, in ancient Chinese culture, and you guys can look it up, of how the philandering bureaucrat does better with women than an actual righteous warrior fighting for his life for the right things. But anyway, okay. that's a whole other thing. That's and fair. number three, Andrew, I think that a lot of Asian movie stars... No, no, I don't fuck who, do, give, who gives a bollocks about fucking movies, mate. And I, I think this guy ultimately is like a pretty smart guy, but his intentions are heavily misguided. And the other guy, Andrew, I don't know what this guy's name is, but the other guy, Andrew, because he just said the name, he's a pretty smart guy as well, but his intentions are misguided and his efforts are misplaced. You know, you guys, you put these guys in a boxing gym, what happens? They fucking pussy out after a few sessions. Because they never faced a real adversity in their life. They never felt fear in their life. They never fucking, you know, felt life gripped them by the fucking nutsack in their life. Never before. And I think that this is extremely, extremely bad for young men. It's young men in general, and affected, and especially Asian young men. Because we are coddled. We are taught to be like good fucking academic boys. Oh, you can study, good boy. You study, go to university, go to college, go to, go to, high, go to, go to high school, go to college, go to university, be a good boy, you know. Suck your, you know, don't talk back to your fucking parents, suck the teacher's dick, pause. Like, that's what we are taught. We are taught to be submissive, robot workers, not independent thinking. And, like, it requires great strength and great will to break out of that mold and fucking become something. You see it all the time. Like, oh, uh, I, I was, I was, you know, I was that fucking Asian geek. It's, it's one, still 1% 1 of the population, perhaps even less, because, like, the majority of guys are fucking geeks like this, but they're not fucking, you know, vocal. But you see all the time with these, like, rich Asians. They make it out. Like, I was listening to my parents going to school, classic life, but then I realized I need to make money. And then I made a lot of money, and I got into shape, and I look good now. I think a perfect example is like, what's his name again? What's his name? Ken. Mm. Um, not crazy rich Asians. Bling Empire! How the fuck did I forget? I love this show. Bling Empire. Ken. Not Ken. Not Kane, bro. I actually love the show so fucking much. I actually love sh these shows so much. This girl's hideous, bro. She's rich, though. Bro, Kane is fucked up, man. Kane is fucked up, like. He could have just hit the gym. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Um, Kim Lee, Kim Lee, Kim Lee. Yeah, this guy's a geek as well. How can you? How can you be like the fucking? How can you be like a multi-millionaire, like descendant of a fucking like a Chinese fuck? Look, he's a descendant of like a Chinese royalty. He looks like a geek. And you guys want an abusive ass relationship, man. That's sad for her. Not my problem, no. Ooh, what's, his name again? what's his name again? Kevin Kreider. Handsome as fuck. 
jawline, muscles, everything. Um, for 10 years, 20 years, you're trying to make it as a model. Bro, the modeling industry is fucked. Like, I don't know why you're trying to make it as a model. <laughs> bro, I'm trying to make it as a model, bro. Oh my god, it's fucking, it, it's, uh, it's, it's hard, man. But Kevin Cryer is a good example where, like, He's, he's a pretty extremely handsome guy. Yo, I remember this. This is like, this is gossip, bro. She wanted him so. She wanted him. She wanted him so bad, and he was like, "You know what? Yo, you don't you don't trust my ass. It's okay. It's okay. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my ex." Bro, he went from one Vietnamese girl to another Vietnamese girl. This guy is crazy with it. Bro, he was, he was, bro, he was balancing a fucking harem in that hole, bro. He wanted, um, he wanted this girl originally. Yeah, that's an L on him. What a mean. I don't know. I don't trust it. She's in Paris. I remember the episode. She like, she was in Paris. What the fuck you doing in Paris in the fashion show? She be, she be around, bro. She around town. She a three or four. Let's be realistic, brother. Let's be realistic. She around town. Uh uh uh, Tagama, Degabwe, nope, fuck out of here, man. So he's an extremely handsome, muscular guy. Um, some sus pictures, man. What the fuck you gonna make? <laughs> I, I got mu I got muscles, but like, holy shit, dude. Damn, this is this is really me. So he he's extremely handsome, like in shape, you know. Like a relatable, relatable guy. He's like a almost. If you want to do YouTube, he'd be extremely successful. That's what I would say. If that was his primary focus, he'd be extremely successful on YouTube, because like I don't doubt that he he is natty. Like this is not like a extremely bolo physique. I think it was Korean German or Korean or something. Maybe just like straight up Korean. Um, I don't doubt this at all. And he's been around. And I just think about it more and more often, like, this guy is pretty much the pinnacle of of uh, Asian uh, beauty standards, but even he struggles. But he, you don't seem fucking, like, complaining like a bitch. No, I've seen him cry a few times, actually. What the fuck is this dress, man? What is that haircut? I'm watching that shit. It's so fucking. It's just horrible, man. She is ass. I can't lie. I don't know why girls all do this like long hair. They all look like a Kylie Jenner. <laughs> they all look like a Kylie Jenner ripoff, bro. I remember her name was like nickname was like Asian Kylie Jenner. Definitely on the knife. She stood up Kevin, bro. He's more like a millionaire now. Kevin Kreider. He's 40! The hell, bro. He's still with this girl. I think they're still filming. Like It takes like a few years. One or two years to like film all the episodes because um, it's just like a lot of shit happening. It's a reality TV show, so because it's a reality TV show, like shit has to happen, and shit doesn't happen that often in 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 life in general. What the fuck are they doing, bruh? Oh, this is. Geeks, geeks, don't don't do it. Oh my god! Because when you open your mouth, you look like a beta. Like what the fuck? I actually kind of have to do it because he's been struggling. I remember like I see the episodes of him like struggling with depression and shit. Um, I remember when like 
I remember Kimberly got fucking jealous, jealous, somebody jealous. I'm so thirsty. Do you have any blood? What is this? Uh, not blood. It's already open, bro. Two days ago? Fucking tweaking, man. What the fuck is Kevin doing? What's 40 years old? What time is ticking? Have some kids, bro. <laughs> well, by the time your kids turn, you'll be 60. Yeah, I call it. That. It's just no. Let me see one thing. Kevin Carter. Carter. No. It's not, uh, I, it's, it's what basically what effect is estimate what he made. Yeah, $10 million hasn't really changed. I don't think he has $10 million in the bank. Let's see his current lifestyle. No, I don't think he does actually. Well, you live in LA, man. It's the general capital of the world. Um, she's showing way too much cleavage on fucking, on this, this shit. And, wait. Bro, using Opus Clips. Remember that when I was uh, 22 on, when I lost my virginity, like I can't remember how many times I had sober sex. You know, it's not a thing. I've had sober sex was mind boggling. That's dumb. I can't lie, because if you have drunk sex, how are you gonna fucking enjoy it? Um. Well, they're still together, which is kind of nice. Do you sans? I still remember this. 18k followers. Bro using Opus Clips. And so when I got sober six and a half years ago, I think the first. But not too much success, though. Um. The Instagram is a very bad place to be a viral bar. It's a very bad place. Like you, you, you need external sources coming in in order to get like attention and flack on Instagram. It's my genuine opinion. Holy shit! So much gray hair. Damn man. This guy goes fucking clean shaven. Wait, what? The season three's out? No, it's not out yet. Look at the whole squad, bro. It's kind of weird seeing them so normal. And then she had to drop out because she was a cheater. I mean, it's not that deep, though. Can't lie, it's really not that deep. He's so tall, he has to duck. He can just stand in the back. That guy's famous hairdresser. Gay. Yeah. How come this guy looks more masculine than this dude? Probably because it's gay sex. <laughs> Yo, I'd be more masculine. Yo, man, I need to chill out. Damn, I get it, you guys are together, man. I remember this episode. Who used AI on himself? Come over, man. He just, he just had some guy in general. I don't know why I'm, I'm still browsing on his fucking Instagram. I'm gonna cut this out of his final video. Deserve a little bit of blame. Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen even. Because they get oh, a you lot- you speaking on the ghosts. Uh, you really speak, you, you really trash on the ghost, bro. No way you're gonna talk shit about it, man, and fucking Mr. Miyagi, man. Hey, 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 no way, brother. How are you gonna talk shit about a fucking monkey from Kung Fu Panda fucking series? How are you gonna talk shit about a fucking... Motherfucker, I don't know what his name was. Kara, Kara. I don't know, I don't know, the, I don't know Kara. What was the, what was the name? Detective Lee, I think his name is just fucking Lee, basic, some basic for that. 
Nah, vile man. You are a disgrace. But no, he's right though. He's genuinely right. They're not the epitome of masculine characters. Like masculine sexy characters. What the fuck is my mum posting on Facebook? That shit is fire! Yeah, I should probably not use my phone during a fucking video. They get a lot of women in their Asian movies, but how come when they came to America, they pretty much were chasing the bag, and they did not care at all if their characters were portrayed as, like, asexual or goofy, specifically Jackie. And you know... This guy, he's speaking facts. He's speaking facts, a lot of facts. What I dislike, that his, he isn't, his agenda isn't promoting, that he's, like, shifting the blame. Like, culture has always been shifting the blame. Go back to fucking Adam and Eve. Eve ate the apple. It's her fault. Oh, Eve listened to Satan in the form of a snake. It's the snake's fault. It's Satan's fault. You know, God created Satan. It's God's fault. By proxy, it's God's fault. Everything goes back to someone else's fault. No one is responsible. No one is liable. And at the end of the day, you will not improve if you do not become responsible for your own actions. You can blame Jackie Chan what you want. But when it's just you and that girl, she's not gonna, he's not gonna fucking help you. She's not gonna think in the back of her head, oh fucking Jackie Chan Kung Fu, woo, he's fucking cool. Let me suck his dick. It's not gonna fucking happen. Oh, Jackie Dumb. and Bruce Lee, those guys, you know the martial artist, Andrew? Bruce Lee's handsome though. Bruce Lee's handsome and he, he was buff. Those guys in real life are dogs. They were actually, again, with a lot of women. But yeah, no, the roles didn't show it. I mean, it's also Asian culture, man. They don't want to glorify the Playboys as much. Like, I just... No, they shouldn't glorify Playboys. What they should glorify is the fact that Asian men are fucking handsome and can get girls. It isn't a matter of they do get girls. It's they can get girls. The option is there on the table. You know, with black guys, they could be like... There is bomb the barrel black guy, I'm going to show that on the screen. And then there's like fucking Austin Durnan, fit ex Felix, uh, Felix, handsome, rich, tall black guy who's fucking suffered his entire life to gain all the muscle. And, you know, you got a. Who, who's, who's handsome? Um, got LeBron James. No, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of status. LeBron, LeBron's like a seven. Michael Jordan is like a seven, maybe six, five, six out when it comes to looks. But then his height, money, status, and lifestyle, and you know, personality, all oh, they come in the mix, bumped up like point two. But um, yeah, I think Austin Dunn and Felix are good examples. You know, I'm trying to think about other handsome black guys, but I'm not really in the handsome black guy space. Pardon me if I offended you. Um. Not really in the handsome white guy. I know Ryan Reynolds. Handsome white guy space. Ryan, you know, ugly white guy. Hand, okay, I already finished the black guys. Now the white guys. 
ugly black guy, ugly white guy, handsome white guy, Ryan Reynolds, um, not really Timothy Chalamet, uh, I was thinking about my head for a bit, but he's not really attractive, he looks like a fucking soy boy, I could crush his face in my skull, I could crush his fucking face in my hand, grab him by the face, and then just, and then just feel the, the power of the dragon, anyways, yeah, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, I guess. Um, I don't really have, I think of any handsome white guys either. <laughs> Nothing really comes to mind, really. There has to be more. Oh, Brad Pitt. Leonardo DiCaprio, when he was young. Um, thing, who else? Yeah, who lived here? Oh, oh. What's his name again? It was so popular, Amber Heard's fucking husband. Oh, what was his name? I remember the character, the name of the character he played, fucking Jack Sparrow. But I can't actually remember his name. I'm not, I'm not searching my memories. Amber Heard, Trial, Johnny Depp! Right? Yeah, Johnny Depp young, he was a handsome guy. Um. Looks fucking crazy now. What the fuck is he on? Uh, at least he has kids. Just all that money, and you have two kids. What the fuck? This guy's 21. He's like a little fucking boy. He looks hideous, bro. This guy did not succeed in his father's footsteps. Holy shit. Oh, he has the illness? That guy looks like a man. Hey, it's 2023, I shouldn't judge. It's almost 2024, which is fucking crazy. Um, damn, she's kind of bad, though. But girls always look better than boys. And why the fuck is she wearing some, some reeling? Like, I, I, there's nothing left in the imagination. Like... That's kind of buff, though. Got a little muscle on him. Um, I think it's in genetics, to be honest. You're old! 24? French American. Julie Timothy Chalamet. And I don't know. I don't know. Oh, she's with him? Damn, she'd be around the block. One dude to the next. Oh, he just built weird. Like, what the fuck? He built like E.T. Uh, industry plant. Got a good jawline, though. What the fuck is that mega mine? <laughs> um, you could have chose a better haircut. You could have went straight down. Covered it up. Mega my head, bro. Why the fucking kids like? Well, Johnny Depp was fucking handsome when he was young, man. Why is his kids like not fucking anywhere near him in terms of looks? Damn. Bro, gonna riz me up. Pause. Yeah, this is why clean shaven is always bad for guys. Fuck, fuck, beards, bro. Fuck that shit, man. Bro was fucking handsome. Damn, we're going for life. That was funny, I can't I know. The fuck are you fucking shit up, bro? Mm. don't think that they want to put that influence out there and that no i don't think that's how they think society should run but yeah i mean anyways i just gotta give a shout out it's, it's kind of weird how like an asian guy can be like a playboy in asia where everybody's asian and then they cross the border into america and then they're just like <gasps> and you know this <laughs> <laughs> true 
the same way it works reverse. You've met guys that are Asian American that are kind of like, oh, yes, sir, I'll stay for the weekend. You can give me the extra work. Essentially, some caricature of like Harold and character in Harold and Kumar. And then essentially, when they t go over to uh, Asia, Andrew, they'd be acting like Andrew Tate. There's a really interesting valley we're discussing. <laughs> this guy was about Andrew Tate a year ago. He's ahead of his fucking time. It's a year ago, and he's talking about Andrew Tate. Holy shit, the. Uh... Where the two peaks for Asian male attractiveness these days is like really strong virile masculinity or really specifically designed femininity. But this valley of what we might call, in a layman's way, the average Asian American male is never really. Wait, this guy is actually on something despite being a geek. spoken to and what's interesting is i feel like the average male in other cultures specifically let's say with white american culture is constantly spoken to like the idea of being an average joe is literally almost a badge of honor you even no it isn't you're a fucking geek like what the fuck he's spoken to like the idea of being an average joe is literally no it isn't no it isn't especially in some improvement space especially in normal life it's fucking Atrocious. As a white guy, no offense, but you guys age fucking quick. Like you guys, you're aging genetic. Like, I don't know if you're healthy, you don't age, right? If you're healthy, you live, you live a fit, you know, clean diet, clean lifestyle, no drugs, no nothing. But you, you guys like smoke, white people. So, but you smoke, especially Turkish. You smoke because you do these drugs. You age extremely quickly. And they put a picture of Emma Watson before and after. She's only like 32. And because of her Anglo Saxon genes, she's aging like it's nobody's business. And the British, they migrated over. And the Europeans, they migrated over to America. So you guys have ethnic European genes, which means. You guys will age rapidly. Which means... You guys get ugly quick. So if you're a young, young white guy, the biggest thing that you can do for yourself is just working hard and gaining a physique that people think part of gaining a... Using those prime years of your life. Like you, you really do have a prime as a white guy. You really do. And when you're old, you become saggy and old. I don't know what the fuck. Asians become old and like they just get more stronger or some shit. They go for like a fucking power up. And you're not like a buff Asian dude. Old Asian dude that you see all the time. It's very common. It's very, very common. Especially go to a fucking like a park in Vietnam at 6 a.m. in the morning, 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, you'll see them, these individuals, these old grandpas who can do like fucking 50 pull ups in a row type, type shit. 50 pull ups in a row is actually quite an uh, exaggeration. It's usually like 20, 30. But. That is very fucking impressive. They can do that type of shit at their age. And yeah, this, this is, it is never heralded to be an average Joe. You might have, if you compare average Joe, Asian to average Joe, white guy, you might, your average Joe, white guy might have a better chance. Why the fuck are you looking towards being an average Joe? Comparing average Joe metrics. Is your intention to be an average Joe? No. No, it isn't. It's to be better, be stronger, in every metric you could possibly imagine. Fuck out of here, man. Literally, almost a badge of honor. You even see more diversity of size and shape and so forth among African-American Hispanic actors, at least in comedies, right? If you are an Asian lead, you have, almost have to be super hot. People talk about K-pop as if it's going to save the world, right? Is Tayo, from um, the BTS, from uh, Big Bang. Like Asian idols from Asia okay. <laughs> are going to make it all good Top. for the rest of us. And the fact is, as much as I appreciate that it's kind of cool that it's being imported here, it's again one of those things which doesn't quite solve it for just everyday Asian guys in the. Geek. Big noise. Oh, the back stretch go crazy. Oh my god, I just fucking heard a crack in my chest. Oh my days, can you guys hear that? Oh my 
God! Do it again to the side. Ooh. Oh my god, I, I cracked so much now, I feel like a fucking... Middle of America. If I tell you, and I'm at a party, I'm like, oh, I want you, my, my girlfriend, to meet my friend. He's a, he's a white guy. What does he look like? Oh, he's, you know, brunette, and he's, like, a, a little husky, but he's really funny. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll meet him, whatever. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, yeah, no, oh you want to meet my, uh, he's my Chinese friend. He's coming. He's, you know, he's kind of, you know, he's, like, black hair and a little husky. They'd be like, I'm going to go <laughs> that is so Why the fuck are you being husky? Bro, hell no, man. Hell no. Oh, it's, it's so true. Very true. Everyone oh, has gotten that. Yeah, I mean, this was actually the main point of the video is that they're talking about the average Asian man because now we know that we have a top tier Asian guy, whether that's K-pop stars, K-dramas, or any Asian pop stars, right? Uh, they, they, we have our top guys. So those guys are... Uh, attractive to a large portion of the world. Maybe they're not as attractive as the Leo Di Leonardo DiCaprio's, right? But they are hot. But what about the average Asian guy? And it really comes down to like, one, how close are you to the blast zone? There's a blast zone of the movement. And if you look nothing like them, then you're farther away. So you'll benefit very little, but maybe still a little bit. And then the more you look like them or fall within that culture, you're going to benefit more. Yeah, like how well can you pull off the K-pop look? Or how well can you pull off that K-drama, J-drama, like I'm in a tailored suit look i think that matters um i will say this real talk andrew though basically the way i would break it down as far as like an average asian guy goes i consider myself an average asian guy um and like versus average white guys go is like let's say for example there's two guys and they're both ranked like a six right the white guy back in the day he the average man is not a six the average man is a three i don't know if you guys watched the first man video but um, first man says that the average man is like three, straight up. He's a three, three out of ten. It could be three out of fifteen. He's fucking low. He's low on the fucking. That's exaggeration, of course. That's a hyperbole. But he, he's fucking. He's low on there. He's hideous. You know when guys see a cute girl. She's cute. Yeah, attractive. I'm attractive. I'm attracted. But when guys see her, like a fucking handsome dude. Like we know it's a handsome dude. And like it isn't like out of a gay way, like oh girls think girls hear that shit, they think you're gay because you're complimenting a dude. When more more so it's respect, which girls don't really understand from a male perspective. And I think to myself often like Say for example, I think more often that a lot of the men, average men out there, they don't have any respect for themselves. Because if you did, you do things that are extremely difficult every single day, you would suffer, you would work in turmoil, you would grind, and then you'll get what you want. You know, a friend called me recently and he was like, and then I lost a bunch of weight and gained muscle, and I lost like 20 kilograms, which is like 44 pounds, 50 pounds of weight. Almost, I don't know, 20 kg to 44 pounds. Damn, I, fuck, I was on money on that one. Holy shit. That was a guess. I knew it was like a 0.5 pound, 0.2 of a uh, thing. Kilograms like 0.2 uh, pounds. So I was like fucking Asian math. I'm not even good at math. I'm good at English. And... Uh, a lot of these guys have fucking horrible disrespect for themselves. Like, you, I I look at this average Asian guys in the street outside, like in the world, and I'm just like, you guys are fucking atrocious. You guys are a fucking blithering mess. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? I think you can sit at a table and represent me. I feel insulted. Like the entire video, so far, I felt insulted, and I've stretched this video. For fucking two hours and thirty minutes so far, so I feel very, very insulted. I know you guys can tell. 
there's two guys and they're both ranked like a six, right? The white guy back in the day, he might get a plus two to an eight, and then an Asian guy might get a minus two from a six two. An eight is like a fucking popular YouTuber. An eight is like an unknown model. A nine is a fucking celebrity. A ten is like a guy who has it all. Looks, money, status. If, if 10 is perfect, then that's very difficult to quantify. But we can quantify it based on basic math. Basic uh, uh, equations. Looks, money, status, height, lifestyle, personality. Six things. That's a 10 out of 10 man. He has it all. That's irregardless of race. You can be Latino. You can be black. You can be white. You can be Asian. Doesn't matter. You have it all. You're a 10 out of 10. But it's very, very difficult to have it all. Looks, money, status, everything. It's very hard. Like you're going to be lacking in some component. The maximum you can get is like 8 or 9. An 8. Bro, if you're a 7 out of 10, the amount of pussy you're driving in is probably unquantifiable. 8 out of 10, you probably don't want to fucking be with girls anymore. 9 out of 10, being with girls would be a hassle. You have your fucking option to pick from. Your, the roles are reversed. You become the girl on Tinder. 10 out of 10. You're a god amongst men. Like, people, you don't understand. You're throwing numbers around. This is why he's going to be an average guy for a very, very long fucking time. Because he doesn't understand fucking <laughs> basic math and basic dynamics. If 10 is perfect, then 1 is absolutely fucking that bottom of the barrel hideous. Then most men are 3-4. Four. 4 on a good day with good lying. Perhaps 3.5 on like a, like, a, like a decent day. But on, on average, it's fucking 3, bro. Most of you guys are fucking hideous. Overweight, entitled, childlike bastards. That's what I see in most Asian men. I see in most normal men. I see in most thing men. Anyway. What the fuck? A four. So now you have an average guy that is equivalent to another average guy, but one is getting treated like an eight in society and one is getting treated like a four. Now in 2022, I do not think that disparity is that large anymore. I think the white guy might get a bump to a seven and the Asian guy might get a discount down to a five. So it's still there, but it's not as. No, no, I don't think so. Big of a gap and a chasm as it used to be. Yeah, and I still, by the way, think that a lot of like handsome, good looking, way above average Asian guys are still getting fractionated. They're still getting hit with the minus point, but it might not be two points. It might not be one point. It might be half a point, but they are definitely still getting hit usually. I mean, think about it logically. Let's say, for example, theoretically, I'm a nine out of 10 Asian guy. If I got to take a one point hit to eight out of 10, my life is still pretty fun. I'm still, my Google calendar is still filled with dates. You, you still know? No, that's crazy, bro. Okay, it's lagging now. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. I can't lie. I'm gonna two hours. It's too much. I have so much content to juice out of this. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be ruined today in another video. I need to go to bed. Catch you guys next video. Peace.